Okay, so I've just bought one of the official Apple Lightning to Digital AV adapters. I had an idea that uh, as Apple Arcade now supports uh, Xbox One controllers uh, and also uh, made for iOS controllers, uh, I figured that Apple Arcade uh, using lots more gamepad compatible games is going to be a good thing to try with this adapter. Now I've done videos before uh, using Apple TV and AirPlay mirroring which works all right but it is a bit laggy. Uh, this cable isn't laggy at all. Um, now obviously, well this is an iPhone 7 so it's an older phone. I thought I'd try Fortnite because I've, I've several videos of Fortnite on my channel uh, and I thought it'd be interesting just to see how an old device such as this uh, will cope with Fortnite going directly through. Uh, so it's being powered with a lightning cable. You've got the HDMI cable going straight into the TV and so if I pull back you'll be able to see that it's on the TV. So what I want to do is get a camera angle where I've got both in it so you can see that there is really no uh, perceptible lag between the phone and the TV uh, and obviously it's a, a Bluetooth controller and that's what an Xbox uses so that's very snappy as well. Okay so let's get Fortnite loaded up. Okay so my iPhone is down the bottom of the screen here uh, right down the bottom and there's obviously the TV so let's hit play because this bit isn't uh, controllable with the controller until you get into the main menu. Okay, so you can see, let's try and get my controller in the picture. So if I flick left and right, just have a look at the phone uh, and the TV, just to show how in sync they are and how, how it all happens at about the same time. Uh, so let's go straight into a game. Now I've got a load more things to try with this adapter, um, especially the Apple Arcade games, uh, but obviously I'll have to try several of those uh, and whether I'm going to do that on my iPhone 7 or my iPad Pro and also there's an iPad mini 2 uh, just beside my phone which you can't see because it's too dark I don't know if this will help yeah, you can just about make it out there um, and that uh, has got RetroArch on it so uh, the game emulator arcade PSP PlayStation uh, and that also works through it as well um, so that'll be interesting to try right so if I run around Get used to the controls, I haven't played this for a while. So really it's concentrating on how much behind the TV is from the phone and it's certainly a lot less than AirPlay would be. So AirPlay mirroring, which is on my Apple TV. You certainly notice it a lot less when you're playing it. So remember this is uh, running on an iPhone 7, so two gig of RAM. Uh, running through, and I, and I would imagine the uh, HDMI adapter probably takes away a little bit of performance from it. Uh, and it's just cut out. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, maybe it is too much for the iPhone 7 to play Fortnite uh, and coming through like that. Uh, I know with other games, I've tried other games on it, uh, some of the Apple Arcade games and some of the uh, just ordinary App Store games and they've worked absolutely fine like this. Um, so I'll give Fortnite one more try. Uh, if it doesn't work on that then I'll switch straight over to my iPad Pro uh, because uh, and it's a 10.5 iPad Pro so the older one um, but, uh, but it's got 4 gig of RAM which is obviously going to help uh, and it's also got a much stronger graphics processor, uh, even though it's got the same A10 um, CPU. Let's jump out straight away this time. Let's find somewhere a little bit quiet. Oh, I don't that boat again. Graphics loading up a bit slow. <laughs> as he takes some damage. You can hear the sound is a bit behind as well. I guess it's gonna... Oh, there's someone already there, look. Oh, great start. Do they spotted me? Oh, someone there as well. 
Oh dear, have they got anything? No weapon! Where are they? <laughs> oh, that's a bit laggy. You get away with a lot more on mobile. <laughs> but not too much. Okay, so let's try the iPad Pro because that obviously did slow down a lot. We can watch a little bit of gameplay. And again, this would be a good one because, oh, and then it quits out. Right, okay, so, uh, well, before I do it on, um, just to show that it does work on the iPhone 7. I wonder if it's a heat thing. It's warm, but it's not, it's not silly. Let's just quickly show a bit of Minecraft, which is obviously using a lot less resources than, um, than Fortnite does. Much more forgiving for a system. Can you see both? Yeah, and the brightness is all right. I don't really play it on this phone. Uh, if I'm going to play it, I'll play it on my iPad or my Xbox. But it's just interesting to see uh, that you can use your, you know, an old iPhone, uh, and they're they're a much more sensible price now. Old iPhone sevens, they don't cost much at all, uh, but you can play quite a few games with game pads. That's more like it, that. And you can see that it works pretty decent. There you go, so there's my crafting table, there's Minecraft, and yeah, that's certainly you know a nicer way of playing it than playing it on a phone screen. Uh, the adapter is £49, and it is, it's a lot of money for a cable. Uh, it's great what it can do, um, but I really wish Apple would charge more than like £25 or something for this cable. So that's my iPhone 7 running Minecraft. As you can see, it's pretty smooth. Uh, it looks pretty decent, and this is much more playable. I really don't like playing it on a phone screen, it's too small for me. Uh, but you can see from this, that's not struggling at all. I'll come back to Minecraft and I'll come back to other games and especially uh, Apple Arcade games. Uh, be really good to try some of those. Ocean Horn 2 is excellent, even on my iPhone. Uh, but I'll do that in another video. And this has just been updated for iOS 13, uh, literally about an hour ago. Um, so I haven't really gone through it. What I need to do is pair my Xbox controller to it first. Okay, so that's connected. Let's start Fortnite. Got a load more icons on display. I really like that. Uh, a few more things in Control Center and the web browser is full browser. But again, this video is not about iOS 13 on iPad, although I might run through one. I've also got another video about what Xbox controllers work uh, with iOS 13. Okay, so while I'm waiting for uh, Fortnite to update, 5.04 gigs on my iPad Pro, which is behind. I've got my iPad Mini 2, uh, which I've never sold because it's got a broken home button in it. It's worth pennies, but it's still a great device. Uh, so I've got my Mad Cats controller, uh, which was a tenner from CEX. Now, uh, just to show you uh, that even this old device works fine with it, uh, if I launch PPSSPP, because I've already shown RetroArch uh, on this device, uh, and you'll see that this can be used for gaming as well. So I've got uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 2014 on here. So this is the PSP version. Okay, so it feels responsive with the controller. Uh, it definitely feels like it's doing things as I press the controller. It doesn't feel like there's a, a noticeable delay. Obviously, you can have a look at the two screens and see how you feel, uh, how much behind it may be. But for this game, it feels perfectly playable. Uh, even though this is old hardware, I'm impressed. Uh, so anyway, hopefully Fortnite will be done soon. So let's get on with that. Okay, so we're nearly there. So you'll be able to see from that spinning wheel how in sync they are. Actually, actually I don't know how big that will show up on your screen. Let's <laughs> gonna have a look at settings and see what it comes up as. 60 FPS, it's on medium at the moment. Guess I'll leave it on that to try. Ah, now this looks a lot better. This looks loads better. So clear. I'll have to do some uh, screen captures of this as well. What's, what's weapon then? Why have I got some weird... I've got triangle is changing weapon. Okay, so I've got some weird control system on here that I didn't have last time I played it. Let's not worry about that, because I'm no good at the game anyway. So... 
is looking smooth. So you can see my uh, ProMotion display is certainly showing it quicker. Uh, but if I just look at the TV screen, which is quite hard with the 10.5 inch screen uh, doing different things next to it. Why oh, are so many people around here? Is anybody landing up there? Nobody seems to be landing up there. And I've undercooked it. Oh, joking. Oh, no, there is someone up there. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I mean, this, this alone shows... <laughs> Oh, someone's flying in near me. They can't get me there, that. Huh? Slippery little fella, all right. Right, so. Come on. Oh! <laughs> right, okay. That, that was amazing. Super smooth. I'm looking at the TV and I'm not thinking I'm um, playing mobile. And uh, that is really good. Okay, one more go. Well, to be fair. That was really good, so let's try up in the settings. Let's go for high, 60 FPS. Oh, so high is 30 FPS. Well, I don't want to go for 30. To be honest, it looked good anyway. So let's go 60 FPS. Oh, show FPS, let's do that as well. Allow low power mode off. Right, okay, let's try those settings. Okay, so let's try this again. But what we'll do is stay on a bit further and try and get it that there's going to be less people around. And do a bit of spinning around so you can see how that looks. Getting a, a little bit jumpy. Let's head. Where's well, it's going to be quiet. Oh, this is all different. And there's some weapons up there, look. Oh, I thought there was going to be a door there. Oh! God, I'm so bad. Yeah. Shotgun, right. I actually have a weapon. Someone over there, isn't there? Oh, what am I stuck in some sights thing? <laughs> Crikey, that was a good shot. Anyway, uh, that kind of proves how, how good it, it looks. Uh, it certainly feels really smooth. I'm watching the TV and I'm not at all thinking that I'm playing on mobile. Um, so that cable is, is way better than AirPlay mirroring. Anyway, I uh, hope you like this. Uh, there'll be loads more on this cable. I want to do a Samsung Deck style on iPhone video, which is probably not going to turn out as well as I think it's going to. Um, because I was messing about with mouse and keyboard and things like that and so it's going to be interesting anyway to try. Arcade games are going to try as well uh, and also I've got some great uh, ordinary app store games to try uh, and I've tried one of them and it is, it is amazing, plays really really well but I think that especially on the iPad Pro was a real hit. Be interesting what it's like on better iPhones because I, as I say it's an iPhone 7 I've got which is an older device uh, and Fortnite is a pretty full on game. Uh, to, for that to be playing and also giving a second display. But uh, as I say, I hope you liked it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.